peace be with you today we are going to have a look at Kubuntu 12.04 but unlike my usual videos where I show you the default setup today we are going to have a look at something that was really amazing now I find it quite beautiful and many other people have really appreciated it and the person who has made it possible is George Karabasila my brother from Bulgaria and he has helped me with this actually this is the setup that he runs so it's very intuitive very streamlined very minimal so you have a takeoff launcher as you may notice we have the global menu thing that's window menu bar widget running so it integrates ni nicely also you may be seeing this is firefox but it's really well integrated with the de KDE desktop so how is that possible well there's an add-on for that Now you may also see I am running the HUD like functionality that is the clear runner app menu that's also working on my system nicely. So this is the add on that you have to add oxygen KDE install it from the Firefox add on section over here and then it will work nicely. So as you may know Kubuntu is based on Ubuntu 12.04 and it is an LTS release supported for 5 years. So it's, this whole setup is very beautiful works nicely as you can see it's a dolphin and we are running the latest KDE 4.8.4 so that's something and let's open a few application and let me show you how we move around in it so here let me open pigeon over here and then let's open mon pet package manager over here let's go and see and this is your present the X perfect like if you are familiar with compass so when I move my cursor to the top left it works and my, when I move my cursor to the bottom right the desktop grid activates so it's really a nice flow so you don't have any break in your works like in your workflow there are no breaks in that it's very streamlined just like that that and then I have moved some away also over here. So George is over there. Let me say hi to him. So how we will get to this? I have created a pretty simple instruction list. And this is stack folder widget by the way. So let me go to downloads and let me open it okay over here now in this folder you have everything that you will require to get thing with this thing works here so I made a charge of GZ over here and I put the link to it in the description below so you can easily get it now open the instructions so to, to get the takeoff launcher thing this pretty amazing launcher you have to install the dev files that are available here see now AMD 64 this is for the 64 bit systems and then i386 this is for the 32 bit system so that works out nicely let me close the firefox then to get the global menu you have to install plasma widget menu bar from the repositories so let me search it quickly see here is it I have already installed it and that's why it's working I'll show you how to add it to the panel in a minute and then you know how to install it pretty simple there also a command for it for example if you don't want to go to the package manager you can simply install it from the terminal simply simply stuff now to, this thing works best with the Celdonia theme so let's go to the system settings and I will show you how to install these themes so in system settings go to workspace appearance desktop theme 
get new themes and in the search section in Caledonia. See it's over here, I've already installed it and you can install it too. There is also a direct link to it from the kdlook.org if you want to go it, get it that way, you can get it that way. Now making Kubuntu intuitive, like getting the present window on all desktop working and the desktop grid working. So as you can see, go to workspace behavior, screen edges and the set this one to present windows all desktop and set this one, the bottom right one to desktop grid and that will work out nicely and then let me quickly respond to what he is saying to get this stack folder now this is a pretty amazing widget for example if I want to go to videos oh so here I can play something directly from here it works nicely and then this is an excellent widget you go to pretty pretty simple works well so how to install it you there are few commands over here that you can see over here just copy it and in run in the terminal it's pretty simple stuff. You can add the PPA from over here to the package manager, then update it, then install stack folder from that over there. But I have presented the command so you can get that thing working nicely. Now the con key here is also developed by, like created by Georgie himself. Now this is actually a modified version, like I modified it a bit uh, to get the things working in my perspective. So I have placed it in the folder over here now for the for to get conky working you have to install something you have to install conky so in the package manager search conky all and I'll see I have installed it already and you have to install it and when you install it like there is a I presented the link the command also for it so not a big deal then you go to the fonts folder and then install these fonts because these are necessary for the conky to work correctly and then here is my conky rc file now you copy this and paste it in your home folder and then rename it and put a dot at the front of it why put a dot so that will actually hide it as you can see i have i am running the uh, have the conky rc already running away, already saved over here working nicely so in dolphin alt plus dot is the sh shortcut for revealing the hidden files and folders if in case you don't know and then it will work i didn't tell you how to get the conky working so let me close it you can close this one And this will uh, kill the conky. Now, if you want to run it, type in conky, and it's working finally. You can do the same thing from the terminal; not a big deal. Now, let's see what's left. Now we come to the main thing: the Kerona app menu. That is the HUD-like functionality for KDE Kubuntu. As you can see, it's working over here. Now, this requires window menu bar, like the global menu thing to be present before you get this thing working otherwise this will not work so there are a certain set of commands this is not something difficult pretty easy stuff all you have to do is copy one command at a time and then run it in the terminal if you do as it is written over here you will have no problem log out and log back in and then that will be that so I have written the sources also over here that have made this possible in case you have some problems you can go to the original source and get that thing working so now let's remove this and let me show you how you will do this over here okay. let's remove this panel now 
what we need to do is we need to add an empty panel decrease its uh, height a bit yeah yeah this looks nice now go to add widgets and then add window menu bar see you here add this and then system tree and then add take off launcher we'll arrange it in a bit and add fuzzy clock because we have the com key running the fuzzy clock will look best over here and stack folder sorry i call it stack folder add stack folder okay so now it's done let me increase the height a bit it's just too small okay now it's fine so we put the stack folder drag it here take the take off launcher drag it here and then now it's set up now let's lock widgets set up nicely simple isn't it beautiful isn't it nice thing you can also like customize the take off launcher i have already put uh, let me show to you there are two icon in it as you can see this is the k1 this one is created by george himself and this is copy left if you don't know what is copy left then search it over the internet this is a pretty good stuff and then right click on it take off settings and then you can change the icon from here uh, just browse to the uh, place where the icon is kept and change it and then you can customize it you can make it go full screen so it will go full screen and no need for that uh, i don't like it go full screen and then you can add keyboard shortcut to it you can remove the add the favorites menu remove it applications show how the numbers uh, numbers of rows and columns are there and one nice thing you can add a background image to it also so for example let me go to picture go to pictures and then let's get some nice picture let us get this one only then we add it see now nice isn't it you can play with it around that's the thing of kd kd is is a very powerful desktop environment sometimes i find people nagging a bit that uh, like when the kd guys moved from 3 to 4 and it was not working correctly but try the latest one it is really good try the latest one it is really good so you can read what all is saying and he has said pretty good stuff over here so uh, i think you might find it interesting and thanks for watching